For those who are interested in learning web ethical hacking using Python scripts, the first thing that you need to understand is the basics of web technologies. You need to know web forms, HTTP requests, HTTP response headers, etc. And in relation to Python programming, we can automate this HTTP task. And of course, you don't do this manually when you are executing web attacks. To do this, and also on this video tutorial, we'll introduce a very important Python modules to automate web hacking or web application penetration testing. And for those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I'm the internet. Action Star. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. Now, the question is, what Python library or module shall we use for web attacks or just simply sending web traffic? Let me introduce you to HTTP request module slash library. And this allows us to send HTTP requests using Python scripts. And all we need to do is use the command import space request. Take note with an S request and we're good to go. And here is the example of HTTP request functions. We use request.get or request.post. And inside the open close parentheses, we have this 10.10.1.100. And what is this? This is the destination IP address. It can be also a destination fully qualified domain, which is the web server or the web application. The best practice is to store it to a variable. In our example, our variable is G for HTTP get and P for HTTP post request. Another Python library that we'll be using in our web Python script is beautiful soup. This will store the output as it returns HTTP response objects with all the response data. So basically beautiful soup allows us for pooling data from web pages, web pages such as HTML, XML, and other markup languages. And to import beautiful soup, we use from BS4 import beautiful soup. Here is an example where we use both HTTP request module and beautiful soup module. To get the output, we need to do HTML parsing. Okay. And assuming that we already have HTTP request.get, using beautiful soup function uh, inside the open close parentheses, we see r.text. R is our variable when we use the HTTP request module. And in our example, we use request.get. Now, this r.txt, think of it as a temporary file where contexts are stored. Now, the html.parser, this is where we activate HTML parsing. And the result would be HTTP response is converted to an HTML format and will be stored it in the soup variable. Our topology is very simple. We have two nodes, the attacker and the target web server. The attacker will run a Python script and it will send HTTP get request. And we should see the output after executing our Python script in an HTML format. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create uh, Python scripts, a new set of Python scripts. And to do this, what I'm gonna do is, well, first I will go to Haction star directory. And if I type ls, well, we already have uh, our uh, Python web attack scripts. Um, since this is more of a testing, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make, I'm gonna create a new directory and I'm gonna call it Python web, okay? Python web, oops, there, okay, and I will cd there, so it's still empty, this is where we will create our uh, scripts for this section. 
So what I'm going to do first is we're going to test our HTTP request module and the beautiful soup. Okay, and to do this, I will create uh, our first script and I will uh, and I'm going to name this go to.py because we'll just simply test uh, going to a specific website or a specific web page. So it will be nano go to.py. There you go. And the first thing we're, we will do is we're going to use uh, import command to import the HTTP request module request. There you go. So this be very careful. It should be requests with an S. Okay. And I will also import the beautiful sub module using from PS4 and then import beautiful soup. There you go. Second, we'll be creating a variable host. And this is where we will define our uh, target web application, which is 10.10.1.100. Now, let's first test if we can access this destination IP address. So let me just copy. I'm going to open our Mozilla Firefox and uh, let me just paste. And uh, it's now sending HTTP requests to this destination IP address. And as you can see, we're getting a response, which is the stick show uh, blog slash blog site. Okay, so we're good to go. Let's continue creating our script. We're going to create a function. Okay, I will use go to and uh, all right, I will uh, add more syntax. Um, I'm going to create a variable called R. Okay, R stands for request. And I'm going to use uh, request. I'm going to use request.get function. And this allows us to send HTTP get request to, in this example, to the destination host with an IP address of 10.10.1.100. Okay, next is I'm going to create a variable soup. Okay, and I'm going to use a function called beautiful soup. Okay, and inside the open quote parentheses, I'm going to add our text. Okay, R basically uh, this variable. Okay, and uh, I'm going to parse um, the output to HTML using this uh, command. Okay, html.parser. Now, what I'm going to do next is we want to see uh, the return code. We want to see the output. So I will just use return. Okay. And I'm going to call this function we created, the go to function, using print because we want to print uh, the return object. In, in this case, it's soup. So print. And then inside the open close parentheses, I will call go to. Okay. And there. Save. All right. Um, once again, this is an old Kali Linux. It's not using uh, Python 3.x. Uh, that's why we cannot use, uh, well, we can. It will just give us an error. We cannot use Python command. Instead, I'm going to use Python 3. Okay. And I will uh, specify the go to.py. And as I hit enter, there you go. As you can see, we see an HTML code. So basically, this is the uh, HTML code version of this page. And if you don't believe me, all I need to do to prove it to you is right click this web page and select view page source code. Okay, so this is exactly what we're getting. Okay, and the good thing is, uh, we can also double check if we are getting this uh, text, feel free to inject XSS via comment. All right, do we see that? All right, yes, it says here, feel free to inject XSS via comment. Now, if you like to understand the basics of Python, basics of web technologies, basics of web vulnerabilities and attacks with my approach, high energy delivery with whiteboarding sessions and lab demonstrations, ha, I just published this new course titled Python and Cybersecurity Web Attacks. And all you need to do is visit www.zorian.com training.
and look for this thumbnail slash image. And for those who are preparing for F5303 exam, also known as the ASM specialist, this is actually the first part. And yeah, I'm in the process of developing the course, so stay tuned.